in this video, we're going to be working close position movements, and we're going to use them as fun with starter steps, but also integrate them within our dance. If we'll bring Shane into the frame, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to close it up. Natural uh, close position would be right hand of the girl's lap theory, which would be on the left hand side of her body, and she would cut the deltoid. It's the most natural, comfortable position. There are plenty of others, but this one works really well. And especially if you're learning something new. I know that in other videos we've talked about the frame position, but we do want to make sure that the follow is magnetizing her shoulder blade into his hand. It's not that we're leaning back and pulling our leader off balance. And it's, it's not fixed. It's also not that we are a wet towel hanging over the towel rung, but we are pulling our core back to be connected there with a little bit of pressure, a little bit of touch, and um, then we're not floating around aimlessly in that hand. Yeah, so you just saw there, I was able to move Kerry while she was talking. It wasn't abrupt and it wasn't really disruptive because she was connected into that hand or magnetized into the hand. So all as I did was set her on the correct foot, then I knew that I could rotate around. Or I could work that on the other foot and then I could go on the inside of me while she went on the outside. So, Getting that to work, I would think one, two, three, four, then I would triple five and six, seven and eight to start the rotation. And I love how Shane does a, almost like a slingshot or a very spongy trampoline like move. Movement. Yeah, so the triple step already gives me that stretchy feeling so that he can slingshot me right into the cuddle, that, the space that he's creating in his arm. Yeah, I mean, you saw from right the get go. I didn't really need the triples, but what we want to do is make sure we keep a lot of those swing elements by putting in a single and double rhythms, a single beam step and then holding and tapping, um, and then your double, which would be your walks, or your triple, which would be three steps. All right, so I step side, that could be five, six, seven, eight, and then I can go one and two, three and four, or five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four, five and six. So let's break that down a little bit more. So you already know about the connection. connection. You already know that we're stepping and tapping, one, two, three, four. Then I'm sending the girl away and you can see I'm creating that one and two. So my body's pitched nice and forward to release. She comes together, I release again. And then I get her to rotate around my body I'm turning to the right and I walk that around. There's really no set amount of counts. It's really dictated by the music, so depending on the song and how long you want to rotate there. But when I open up, I'm on the right foot, Kerry's on the left foot. I lunge out, I open that right hand because I need her to swivel that body open so that, and you can practice this with that <laughs> hand out in out. Fingertips hand. away from the lead oh. ribs so that I can transfer going back to my right as I bring the girl forward, closing that hand, boom. I'd, I'd like to specify there that if, if the lady is walking normal time, you'll walk her one prep, two, triple yes. step, triple step. So there will need to be a movement out of this closed position. Yeah, so am one. I going to open the girl and get her to rock or am I going to bring her one, down two. to three and four. And then the other option would be if he rocks right away, we can either rock back or a I like ball. a hitch ball change or kick ball change. Keep One ball and change, two, three and step. four, five and so six. Open, closed. Let's go over the one, two a little bit more and I'll do it from this side so they can see it. So I've just finished eight. Right foot for me, natural foot where I would anchor and same for the girl on the left foot. I'm going to go down the track, so she's sort of still stepping into me a little bit. It's like diagonally forward. When I step off the track, my palm comes in, the heel of my palm, and then it goes, boom, fingers come in. A good thing to think of is leaders, wherever the palm of your hand is, is where she's going to be facing, her nose and her eyeballs. And so you can delineate where you need that by thinking about where you want her facing. Yeah, and this movement has to be very adaptable based on the connection and how much the girl moves. So if I did my rotation, um, we'll step, we'll step, uh, sorry, triple step, triple step. I walk around, 
boom. Now I've got her, she's settled. I walk out one, two, so the heel of the palm came in, then three and four, five and six, basic one, two, three and four, and so on. Can we demo that with the kickboxing, that same exact direction? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight, one, two, three, four, kick ball change, triple step, triple step. And I just went kick ball change for my one, two. One other tip for Opening, the closing. fellas is Sorry. that we keep the hand on the inside of the deltoid because if we start getting back here, yes, it's a great styling. If you're upper level, use it. But a lot of times we might find ourselves hooking. So on the inside allows that hand, or catching ourselves and stopping yeah. ourselves. So the hand on the inside allows it to slide right off. Now also think that where else could I use that pattern? I'm doing my basics, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, three, and four. And then I might go trip, four step, trip, four step. I bring the girl around, I settle. Am I gonna kick ball, am I gonna walk out? One, two, and then send the girl <laughs> off, sorry, and roll her off. Or am I going to go, Settle, because I've done my rotation, kick, ball, change, and then spin the girl off. It's really your option there, what you want to do. Maybe you don't want that off the side, pass those off. Yeah. One, two, cut off, three and four, five and six. Now I might hear something, I want to tap it out, or I want to rotate round. I get in position. One, two, three and four, five and six. So there you have it. Um, that's a really fun movement that you can do, whether it be at the start of the dance or even in the middle of your dance, and it'll play around with different rhythms and, and timing and technique to send her out.